California lager here. Give me by a friend here, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, 4.9% alcohol by volume. Let's give it a pour, you know what I'm saying? bready pretty typical getting the lager aroma out of it for sure kind of the sweetness bready maltiness lager yeast kind of a bit of a smell like it's gonna be a little bit crisp you know what I'm saying hopefully nice color to it Oh, that's nice. That's nice. There's a nice flavor to finish there. Kind of expecting to be a little bit more bland than that. There's actually quite a bit of malt presence to this. Nice. Oh, it's just like a caramely, bready kind of finish to it. With a nice sweetness, like just a sugary sweetness in the very back. Oh, wow. Pretty nice. I was kind of thinking, well, maybe Anchor just punched out a logger, you know, just to have one or just, you know, to make money with or whatever. But this is really, really a nice beer. Oh, damn. Well, definitely uh, one of the better loggers to pick up for your pale uh, loggers in America. This is fucking great. Yeah, just a fabulous, bready... Not too bready though. I don't like beers that are too bready, but we'll try and explore the hops. Smell them up front. Kind of a typical lager hop. Something similar to what we would be using a domestic pail, but it's not very. The hops are up front, but it's not hop forward, I guess. This just tastes like what domestic pale lager should be. If they were all like this, I'd be a lot happier about this style in general. As for information, um, doesn't really say much. They have the ABV on here on the back. Sometimes anchor beers don't put them on. I've noticed in the past anyway. I don't know if they if they uh, do them on all now. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, yeah, pretty pretty simple. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of the hops sinking in, getting that nice bitterness now, kind of uh, pretty much the whole aftertaste. This is fucking delicious. Great mouthfeel. It's not over carbonated or anything. Nice fluffy head to it great texture the beer is thick there are definitely enough hops in here for me um, very very well balanced beer very well put together uh, in a world of shitty lagers where there's not a whole lot of great ones unless you get some more of the authentic ones from 
usually from Europe and stuff. But this is, uh, this is really good. I'm enjoying it. The breadiness against the hops is a really nice, uh, really nice uh, conglomeration of flavors there. Great texture. I don't know. That's all there is to say. It's just, it's just, I'm fucking shocked. Not that Anchor makes really shitty beer or anything. It's usually definitely good enough, but. It's like my favorite beer from so far. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to happen. Well. Damn. For the style, it's like fucking perfect. <clears throat> As for beer, though, I'm going to have to give it uh, actually a 9 out of 11. I didn't think I would go that high on this. I was, I've had a lot of craft lagers before, and a lot of them suck ass. <laughs> you know, they're just a little bit better than, than the, the big boys' lagers a lot of times. This is fucking awesome. Highly recommend dinking, drinking. I highly recommend dinking this beer. You know what I'm saying? You got to get yourself a six pack and get it on with this shit. All right, so uh, beer zerker, nine out of eleven. Real fucking beer, fucking awesome. Totally pick up a six pack for that during the summer fall beer. It's even bready enough and, and heavy enough that it'd be a good fall beer even even into October November. Fuck, that's a good fucking lager. Drink it up and I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>